morning, my lovely leg addicts. I'm talking really quietly because I'm on the station on my own, but I'm on my way to London to meet up with Alberto for the first time since two years. I mean, I'm not fully alone. Ben had to be dragged out of bed to take me to the station. I'm sure you were delighted about it, were you? Oh, yeah, thrilled, completely. You thrilled. love mornings, don't you? I do love mornings. <laughs> Okay, that's perfect time to explain to you what I'm gonna do because nobody else is stupid enough to get in a train at 6 30 on a bank holiday Easter Monday. April Fool's Day. Yeah, on April 1st as well. Anyway, what the plan is, is we're gonna go to Lego store, obviously. He wants to go to the Mina Lima Gallery because, uh, you know, Harry Potter and such. And then also, I think if it doesn't rain too much, we're probably going to try and do a little bit of like a walk around London. I was thinking maybe like walk from St Paul's over the Millennial Bridge, because that's like a fun Harry Potter thing, to South Bank and along South Bank to the Houses of Parliament, sort of like a standard thing. Ooh. So it seems like a pretty much a private train, there's literally nobody else on here, which is uh, amazing. So I'm just going to find a window seat. Now to find Alberto. Oh, there he is! Yeah. Still quite bad. Oh my god! Hi! That's Alberto's brother. Been so long. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, god it's so cute. Breakfast has been accomplished. I decided to nearly you know, choke to death, which is just really a okay. um, trend-setting thing. <laughs> but we're just walking alongside Hyde Park. We're probably gonna dip in, go back to the hotel because we have some stuff that we don't want to carry all day. And then we're gonna go to Lego store. Yeah. Okay, but we randomly walked into Hyde Park and I didn't know this was here, but he said the Italian gardens. Like, how nice is that? I promise you the sun is shining. This is behind the cloud, I promise. I told you, there is sun. Look at this. Wow. I need, you need sunglasses. We have made it to St Paul's Cathedral, um, mostly because it's sunny now. So we're gonna go do a touristy walk and then the Lego store is after because also it's April 1st, so d and people will be out. So we're gonna avoid the crowds. <laughs> so we're gonna have a look at the cathedral first, only from the outside, and then we're gonna see the Harry Potter bridge. So it's all, it's all happening. <laughs> Secondhand bookstore market. Uh, what used to be pretty active skate spot, but it's obviously way too early for actual skaters. Uh, we're getting closer to the Houses of Parliament. We have come to the ultimate tourist destination. Da, 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 as presented to you. It's quite nice to be back here and not being in the scaffolding, not gonna lie. It's quite good. So we have sun, we have the House of Parliament, we have serious picture taking efforts right here. Look at us being tossed! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this. We have sun and it's looking glorious. Also, yes, it's a 20 mile an hour zone. Yes, this is indeed still in the centre of London. This is like St James's Park. Our tour is continuing. I, th I think we're getting to the end of the walking. I think we need to go sit down, have some cake or something, and then Lego still next because we're kind of heading in that general direction. So that's the plan. I'm enjoying myself. I'm in the sun, like I can't really complain. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's a beautiful day. I cannot, I cannot. Like all the movies are always like, oh, London is so cloudy, so dreary. And I'm like, no, it's not. Look at the sun, guys. <laughs> what did you just see when you see policeman? Oh, he had the little hat. <laughs> I'm just like such a tourist here, I can't. Like, they have the little hats and all the things, all the sights. It's great. It's all real. It's Who all knew? real. They're I know. I feel like I'm in a movie. I feel like I'm in an episode of The Crown. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I 
Why is there a pelican? But why? These flowers are so pretty! It's spring! Well, we have made it to Stravalga Square. I don't know if you can hear me over like that fountain. It's very loud. You may recognize it from Harry Potter. That's how I used to recognize it anyway. I'm going to find out a place where I can have coffee and cake and just sit and be happy. Um, but it's quite nice outside in the sun. But for some reason, the people from Ecuador are hiding in the shade whilst I'm in the sun. This is very <laughs> unnatural. <laughs> we just wanted to sit down. I feel like we've walked like a day's worth of steps. I cannot anymore. There's still I mean, more to go. There's yeah, still there's more to go, go but we, we've done the main part now, I think. So it's going to be, be okay. Don't you worry. It'll be great. It'll be great. Here are the remnants of our refueling session. Carrot cake, <laughs> Victoria sponge cake, coffee, cola. Let's be honest, we've got to keep our sugar levels up, our caffeine levels, for, especially for me, very important. I'm not a nice person if I don't have enough. <laughs> so I've got to protect people from me. We're quite close to like the Lego store and stuff. So we're just going to walk over in a bit. The Lego store! We are here! It's right there in the corner. Woohoo! Also, apparently, Alberto wants to go to the M&M store, so we're doing all the tourists. I just today. want peanut butter M&Ms. I can't find them anywhere else. We're on a mission. Oh my goodness, that's a cute. Of course, there is. These statues are so cute. Look at them. Oh my god, how cute is this set? Do I need this? Yes. Oh, oh my god, I love the animals. They are also cute. <laughs> So no matter which angle I take it from, we'll see it. I like the <laughs> Nearly our door. <laughs> Love that door. Oh my god. Oh my god. So you can hear the weird car in the background, but this is amazing. Look at the beholder. Look at the lessons. It's so it's way better in person again. That shield. The door. Works with us. Yes. I really want this is probably the most pleasant thing about a Harry Potter set for ages. Like the detail in this set is just beyond anything. Plus obviously I need him. Oh my god. No, I can't get it today, but I I wish I could. I just wish this door was a door from D D set. That would be amazing. Fun. Bit expensive, but also her fringe is very short. But oh my god, they're so cute! They're huge as well. Like look at that. Oh my god, I want this set. This is so cool. The boys are in a natural habitat. Star Wars. So when I say the Lego store in London is annoying because it's hard to get the Apple, this is what I mean. Okay, these are actually super cute. I really like the Tumnook store and I also really like the Starter House. This is so cute. I want to figure Oh my god, the best wall. We just walked out the Lego store. It's grey there anyway. It's blue there. It's very typical England really, if I'm, if I'm really honest. We were in there forever. I know, right? And you know what happened? Nothing for me, but look at that. <laughs> I know it's tough than it looks. 
It's just they just gave me a really big bag for no reason. No yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. There's only one side in there, is that? Exactly. It's just one tiny yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a tiny yeah. thing. It's a tiny thing. <laughs> I've let Alberto in charge of lunch. He's chosen. <laughs> I'm excited. Alberto and his most precious purchase. The food is here. Oh my god, we need this. Look at this. Okay, as much as it was basic, it was actually really delicious. I really bloody needed it. But we're going to the M&M store now. M&M yes. store and then me and Lima. Let's do it. Threatening sky above, cool Chinatown gates and some taxis. We are just heading to Mina Lima because oh it's obviously a must-go stop while you're in London and oh my god, it's really hard to get anywhere because it's really busy um, as usual, but I'll show you, we're nearly there. Oh yeah, we made it. What did you think of me, Lima? It was beautiful. It was fantastic. I wanted to spend all my money, but I didn't have any left after Lego. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we went to Lego first, because like, it's all, it's all gone. <laughs> it's a quick stop at Liberty's because it's fun to check it off. It's so pretty. This is the end of our awesome day out. No. Thank you guys for being here. It's been great. I've had so much you fun. You had to come back straight away. Yes, yes, I do. I really do. It's Thank been... you for being here. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Goodbye, so far away already. You may recognize the room, but it's changed quite a lot since I was last in here. I had such an amazing time in London with Aletto and his wonderful brother. It was just like such a fantastic opportunity to just see him. It's been over two years since I last saw him, so it was really nice just to actually meet up in like real life again. It's it's really weird when you're friends with somebody over the internet for so long because like I feel like we talk quite a lot but we never see each other, we never get to hang out. So actually having a like chance to do that in real life is just really, really lovely and it just made me feel so freaking grateful and happy. I'm really glad I got to take you along. Thank you so much Alberto for like giving me the idea of making a vlog about it. I completely forgot that was even an option, <laughs> to be honest. I honestly tried so hard to make sure that I filmed because I'm terrible for abandoning a project halfway through and I, f I feel like I did all right. I think, I think, I feel most of the day, I think the only thing I left hanging is the fact that we didn't end up going to the M&M store. No, when we came out from lunch, um, the queue for the M&M store was actually like three times as long as before we went out for lunch and we were like, ah, uh, we're okay, let's leave it. Alberto was there for a few more days, so he's gonna go back later. And um, we went on to kind of have a bit of a walk around, see some shops, just kind of get the vibes. But because we had such a massive bag from the Lego store, it was kind of like more difficult to get around. And I think because we all walked a bit more than we usually do, we all got to the point where we're like, actually, it'd be a good idea just to call it a day and just kind of go and sit down and rest. But it was kind of bittersweet to say goodbye to them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy coming along. As I said, I didn't even buy any Lego, which is like outrageous. I was very tempted by the Animal Crossing set. I thought it was really sweet. It was only £35, but it was out of stock. I didn't even have the opportunity to buy anything on an impulse. I'll see you in the next video. It will be the convention where we're going to be displaying my mock for the last time so that I may even be some destruction footage at the end. Ah. But I'll see you really soon, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Have an awesome rest of your day. Goodbye.